Hey, welcome back to Forsaken Steel. It's David. Uh, today, I'm back on this 99 Dodge van. Um, in the last video, you've seen uh, I had this van running. Got it running again, but she's making a little bit of noise, so I bought some mechanic in a bottle. I'm going to run that through her. We'll drain the oil, put some Lucas in it. See if she'll quiet down. Uh, maybe we'll even pressure wash it. It could use it, I think. Maybe. Anyways, let's get to work. All right, so we got us some of this uh, sea foam, a little mechanic in a can. What I'm hoping is the lifters in this thing are just a little stuck from sitting. I think it set it for a couple of years. I really don't know for sure, but I think it was for a couple of years. So I'm hoping we can put this in there and it'll clear up those lifters and get them where they're not rattling around so much. We'll see. Uh, if we got to put a motor in her, we will, but because I got to have it, but hopefully this will loosen it up and uh, we can keep her going. But anyways, I'm gonna throw some in. It says it takes uh, about an ounce per uh, quart of oil. So it takes five quarts of oil, so it should be five ounces, but we might go a little heavier than that. Let's see here. Come on now. There we go. Boom. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a little more than five. I'll throw the rest of that in the fuel tank. Can't hurt it. Let's see, I don't even know where the fuel door is. Here we go. My goodness, this thing is nasty. Let her drink deep. Perfect. We'll fire her up, let her run for a while. Well, I got the old girl moved over in the driveway some so I can get all the way around it. Um, I drug out the pressure washer. I'm gonna hook it up, spray this thing down with some purple power and see if we can't make her look better. Um, I got a storm front moving in, so if we can get this done, maybe we get the inside cleaned while it's raining and put a radio in it and uh, we're just, I'm just letting it run right now uh, to get hot and do its thing so the uh, sea foam can clean out that engine as best we can before we dump that oil and put in some fresh. But anyways, let's get to work and uh, I'll clean her up and we'll see what she looks like. We'll see. I'm going to shoot a little purple power on her, scrub her down with a brush. Then we'll hit it with a pressure washer just see how it turns out. Um, can't be any worse than it currently looks. It's pretty nasty, so let's get it. this brush and uh, then we'll get the pressure washer hooked up and spray her down. I looked over to check on you. You were on the ground again. So I thought I'd catch you up and uh, we'll keep going. Um, it does mu look much better. Probably the video will make it look better and it really does. I still haven't hit this really. Um, look at that. It's a lot better than it was. It's still nasty and we're gonna wash it again even after we pressure wash it. But uh, I think I'm gonna hit some of the harder spots right quick with a brush 
again and then fires pressure washer back up keep going down this side maybe around the front I tested the windshield wipers they work uh, and we'll just keep working our way around maybe y'all get to see the other side much better so I got creative with the uh, stand I use for a tripod that ought to hold y'all Yeah, the wind is brutal out here. I'm sure y'all can tell by the shaky cam. There's not much I can do about it. Um, I just wanted to show you the difference in the hood over here real close. It's a nice before and after. Now, I know the paint sucks, but my goodness, it doesn't look better. It still ain't even washed. This is just to get the scum off of it. I'm going to set y'all up on your new tripod over here. And uh, I'm going to spray this side down. We'll hit it with a pressure washer, too. And then we'll hit it with some actual soap and wash it off. And we'll call the outside good for now. to try something new i've never used a foam cannon i bought this thing i tried to use it i couldn't get it to work we gonna give it another shot today um i still have the van turned around but we're gonna try to foam cannon it right quick and uh see if we can just get it cleaned up and finish it off here
Well, as you can see, uh, she's a lot better than she was, for sure. Um, I'd like to give you some tips on how to use a foam cannon, but I can't because it, it just started working. I don't know why. Whatever. It works awesome, though. I'm very happy with how it works. Man, it's a lot better than using a bucket. Um, <clears throat> yeah. You can touch this thing and, and not actually get covered in lichens and whatever. So, well, I'm not sure if you can tell, but the sun's going down on the ridge behind me. So this day is done. I was hoping to get a little more done today than we did. Whatever. Uh, I wanted to get the oil changed and get the interior cleaned out. But, you know, I, I put in a lot of hours on the outside. You can actually touch this thing now. Um, it's not good but it's good enough. So we'll just keep on working and next video or maybe the one after or whatever, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next, but we'll get the oil changed and see if that rattle goes away. I don't even know if it's even in the engine. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, hit the like and comment.